Okay, this first lesson is gonna cover how to hold the sticks. So when we are holding the sticks, our goal is to be able to hold them as naturally as possible and as ergonomically as possible so that when we move, we're using the most natural motion possible and so that we don't hit a wall where our bodies are not able to function the best way they can when they're playing. So instead of getting into so many details about how your fingers are supposed to be, where the stick is supposed to be touching, this is what we do. So in order to find the most natural way to hold the stick, you wanna first understand how your hand moves naturally. So what you wanna do is first, without the stick in your hand, just let your hand relax and look at how your fingers are. Nice and relaxed not splayed out with any tension. Now watch what happens when you move your wrist up and move your wrist down, or if you rotate. See how your fingers are hanging, see how your wrist is relaxed. Now if you just simply put the stick in your hand, make sure that that doesn't change. You see that? There's relaxed, there's holding the stick. Notice, if I do that, that's different than that, than that relaxed position. If I do this, then that changes that relaxed position. So that's the first thing. Practice moving your wrist without the sticks in your hand and see what your fingers are doing. Now just simply place the stick in your hand and relax your fingers and have them naturally curl around the stick. Notice how the fingers are laying like that. Notice that there isn't any kind of tension up here. It's back there. And when you move, it's nice and easy like that. So here is something that some drummers do by mistake. They tend to use tension up front. When you do that, that's gonna prevent a natural motion in your hands. You can even see, you can see it on camera, that tendon tightens up if I squeeze up here. Again, go back to this. When you're moving up and down, we don't move our hands like that. We move our hands like this, to where the index finger is typically up and relaxed. These fingers are curled around. So I want you to try something. I want you to try to squeeze with your sticks right here, and then I want you to move your hands up and down and see if that's a fluid motion or if that's difficult. Now relax that and see how much easier your wrists move. When we squeeze with these front fingers and thumb, we are pinching right there. These tendons are just crunching down over our wrists and it makes it very difficult. So if you think about playing with that tension, it's like you're choking this ability to move freely versus relaxing that tension and letting it move. So doing it this way, you'll notice this is a natural position that is labeled basically American grip. Now American grip is somewhere in between having your palms flat like this, this is what they call German grip, or thumbs completely up, which is called French grip. Somewhere slightly in between where there's kind of a 45 degree angle split there, that's American grip. So rather than figuring out measuring that, again, this right here, your hand goes into that natural position. And so that it will in turn move freely and naturally. If you find that your wrist is not able to move naturally, chances are you're squeezing or using some tension. Your fingers should just be lightly wrapped around the stick just in order to keep the stick from flying away. So both hands can be mirrored like this when you're using matched grip. Notice my index finger is not wrapped around and touching my thumb. When I do that, this position is called an open fulcrum. The fulcrum is the controlling point or pivot point of the stick. Fulcrums can be open like this. It could be closed if the finger is wrapped around and touching the thumb. Closed fulcrum, open fulcrum. With the first sticking motions that I teach, 
and stroke patterns, uh, we start with open fulcrum. And the reason why we do that is doing that allows the stick to have a little bit more motion in your hand. When your finger is wrapped around and touching, you have to use just your wrist in order to move the stick versus allowing a little bit of play in there. So as you can see, natural motion. And so when I play, no matter what sticking method or motion, method of motion I use, whether it's a molar or a stone, I'm using the most ergonomic motion as possible so there's freedom from any kind of tension.